Hello everyone, I hope you are having a good day today. So today we are going to do uh, part 2 of our Superset Dashboard series. So in the first part, um, we went through how to set up a dashboard, a Superset on your computer using Docker, uh, which is running fine. As you can see, I can I'm run Superset on on uh, local host and here you go it's uh, it is running in my container here you go so at 808 so today we are going to um, demonstrate or explain how to add database connection to your superset um, so that could be a quite complex process or a very simple process depending on which database you are using um, and we will uh, we, what, we, what we will do today is we will set up connection of uh, my SQL based on MariaDB so the first thing you need to do is uh, if you go open your superset on your local host uh, go to settings Click database connections. As you can see I already have two connections. Um, on the top right, add database, and uh, you see here you have Postgres SQL, MySQL, and SQL Lite. Now you won't see MySQL. You only see Postgres and SQL Lite because the drivers of Postgres and SQL Lite are already installed. Um, within superset mysql you won't see uh, to see mysql to you know to view mysql uh, <coughs> here in the list what you need to do is you need to install sql mysql drivers um, so if you go to this website um, i'll post a link the superset.apache.org docs configuration databases mysql uh, databases it has a list of all the data supported databases so these are the supported databases and then it gives you a very detailed instructions uh, on how to do it that's why i said you know it depends uh, whether you know, your database is simple or not so if you are using postgres it's very simple all you need to do is click postgres and add a few details here and it's connected uh, but because sql is not there you need to install the driver so if uh, if I scroll down here, uh, let's search SQL. So, oh, there are quite a few SQL. So, so here's SQL. So what you need to do is um, you need my SQL. Sorry here. So what you need to do is you need to install uh, MySQL client, which is pip install MySQL client. And how do you do it? Um, it depends on whether you have the related packages installed or not. So um, you can you can try here copy MySQL client. Go to your container superset and. Click here. You see, exec. So you can you can type here, or you can install. You no, know, most to the, mostly it won't work because you need to install the packages, right? So packages you can only install through a root uh, user. So what you need to do is you need to go to your terminal, which is I'm already here, and switch to the root um, user. Uh, to switch to the root user, you need to use a command, which again I'll post in description. So here's a Docker execit user root. So, you know, so I'm, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm the root. Right. So now you need to install some packages, um, config packages. So again, I will post uh, in description. So and get update install default 
uh, library mysql client dev etc etc uh, so click install you know I've, I've already installed it so you know uh, and then uh, you need to switch back to your superset user and how do you do it you do su uh, superset um, Okay, uh, so you can exit, All right? And then what you can do is basically you need to install MySQL client. So once the package is installed, um, you can you know inst do it here, or you can go back to the superset and go to the exec and install pip install MySQL client. So because I already installed it, MySQL client, so in the requirement already satisfied, you can see here. But for you, um, you know, it will install the package. Uh, and then when it's done, you need to restart your Docker. So uh, to do that, go back to your terminal and do Docker dash compose and restart, right? It will restart the container. You got this done. Okay. Still doing it. Yeah, still doing it. Alright, it's done. So you can see the, the container is running now. If I refresh. Yeah, right. So now uh, we need to add a database, right? So MySQL. Now you can add host, which is usually um, which is usually an IP address. Right. Uh, so, for example, I'm going. I'm going to use uh, dummy data. Um, I'm not going to use the real data. So, the port is usually double three zero six. Uh, it's, it's telling me the host name right can't be resolved because it's it's, it's it's a fake, right? So that's fine. And then a database name, which is um, could be. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then your username, test one, two, three, and password, and you can change them, you know, by SQL, right? And that's really it. And if you connect it, it won't work, of course, because uh, you know uh, the host is incorrect. Uh, but it would give you a connection. So you know, you know click here. I'm using um, fake. Uh, credentials because I don't want to exp expose my real credentials. Uh, but do let me know if you struggle. I'm more than happy to, you know, have a look. Uh, so when you click, normally you'll have a connection here, right? Like for example, you know, I have other connection here. So that is my my SQL connection, right? So I don't want to show it to you uh, because it has the username, password, and uh, host name. But it will appear here, like so. We we already have examples, which is you know the default. Uh, SQLite uh, database, which is you know, built in in Superset, and then we have this MySQL connection pattern. Uh, now, if you go to um, so that's it. So that's how you uh, connect to the database. Uh, uh, let's quickly add one dashboard. So, uh, so if so dashboard, and you can create a new dashboard. So I want to name it. As two, and you, know, you can we'll we'll walk through in another in another video you know, detail how to create a dashboard. But today let's just you know quickly create uh, basic settings, and then go to so data in data set you will see your database right. So click new data set, and here you'll see all the data uh, bases. So 
like Arcus is the MySQL, other uh, has a schema loading. So this is the database name. The database name will appear here, and then you have um, all the tables. So here you go. So this is quite comprehensive database. So I'm gonna use um, sales tax and charges. So it's gonna depending on how law your database is and how complex the database is it may take um, and whether it's on prem or remote so i'm going to create this data set or oh, this data is already so i already have this data set you know so that's fine so you can click click create data set right um you know i guess i can view this data set to see here so so we have a data set called tab sales text and charges and uh, so I go to charts and create a new chart and if I want to add a bar chart create Oh, no, I need to choose the data set, of course. Uh, sales. So here, sales, taxes, and charges. This was the database we created from our new database. There you go. And I want to x-axis. I want to use the total amount for y-axis. And um, let's use charge type. And there you go. So you have uh, your first charge, uh, and you can customize your chart. And we will we'll, you know, have another video on how to do it. But you, know, you can we can add titles. So there's quite a few um, customization you can do with each chart and we will you know, go through. I'll try to do a separate video for each chart so you can have uh, a separate session. Uh, and that's it. If I click save, uh, I can give a chart name, sales, tax, charges, chart. And you know, I can add to test to dashboard even go to dashboard okay oh, the data is working i know why the chart is not Yes. And uh, yeah. No, it's a little bit on there. So yeah. And this good chart. Okay. Uh save. Sure. Go to dashboard. This one is appearing. Other one is uh, oh, other one is appearing too. So here you go. All right. So we have a sales chart by year, and we have sales text charges uh, chart. So this is how you know you can create. Um, you can reduce it. You know, you can increase the size, reduce the size. This uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, I mean, it is. It, it, well, there's a learning curve, of course, but you know, once you are 
into it when you start enjoying it, when you start exploring it, then you know there's, there's plenty of plenty to do. So yeah, uh, so just to recap, what you need to do is basically uh, uh, you need to see if you already have a driver or not if you have a driver fine if you know then you, you need to install a driver and i you know uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put detailed instructions in the description and then um, you need to add your uh, parameters for the credential for the sql and then connect and then that's it and you know uh, then you can go to data set uh, you know, create a data set and then create chart from the data set and then you know you can add those charts to the dashboard. So that was a video about how to connect um, database to your SQL uh, dash SQL you know um, server. Sorry, your superset server, and create charts from the dashboard. So I hope um, you have learned something new. Um, so over the coming days, of course, I'll add more videos um, how to customize chart, how to customize dashboard, create dashboard. How to do SQL, how to done run SQL queries. Um, as you can see here, you know, we can run very real SQL queries. So let me know if you want me to prioritize anything uh, in a in specific uh, order, and I'm more than happy to help you. Have a great day, and uh, yeah, uh, if you really learn something new today, then please like, subscribe, and share with your uh, share with other people so you, they can also learn something new. Uh, Enjoy dashboarding and have a great day. Thank you very much.